Okay, boys and girls of the internet, today I've got a, a problem with my Makita. It's it's an impact driver. What is that? It's DT DTD one four five, but they they're all the same. Um, this one I've owned for about seven years. It's it's been great, and uh, it's it's a brushless one. As you can see, when I turn it on, I get nothing except a flashing light. Um, the only way to turn it off is to take the battery out, put it back in again, and, and watch when I pull the trigger, nothing. All I get is that flashing light. Now, I looked this up on the internet a little bit, and uh, there wasn't a heaps of information, but I, obviously there's something wrong. I've had, uh, I've had a little look inside, and, and I know what the problem is. It's the rotor. It's been dropped a couple of times. Um, I'm going to open it up and just show you how I fix mine. Uh, there's the kit. Uh, I've got a spare. This is my side kit. Tilly, she'll she'll be helping me pull it apart and fix it. I'll get her to film it. So, I mean, it's a pretty it's a pre pretty simple thing. I'm just going to pull this. The electrician at work, he had one of these spare, and he just he just gave it to me. You know what it is to be an electrician. You just, you're willing to um, let let the carpenter just have a few freebies here and there. Now, these are fantastic tools. I reckon I reckon they're great. They're user friendly. You can pull them apart really easy. Um, unfortunately, the Sparkies this one didn't have the same rotor in it. This is brushed, super old, but. You know, she's a Makita, so she's still working. Um, these are these are super easy uh, things to fix. As you can see, simple clamshell. All you do is pull it apart like this. That's it. This thing will come out. Uh, it's a little bit hard to um, to get it back in, but I've I've dropped this from 3.6 meters onto concrete. It is over seven years, it's probably been bad drop, I don't know, 15 times or something like that. Now, that's the whole thing, it's brushless. Um, this is the rotor, and I'll see if I can pull it out. I'll take it out of here first. Yeah, it's tight. That's the rotor there, and I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there's brakes all through there. Now, the Sparky gave me this one. Uh, I couldn't find, it had a different rotor in it. I tried a few different ones, but I just went down to my local tool shop uh, who fixes uh, Makita, and they happened to have a spare one exactly the same. If you have a look at that, and he, he just gave it to me, which which was really good of him. I mean, this thing's uh, seven years old. It's not under warranty anymore. Um, it's amazing, I think, that they, all the different Makita drivers, they have different um, different rotors and everything like that. As you can see, this has been fully submerged in water and it has got a bit of rust on it, but still still goes pretty good. And I'm hoping with the new rotor, we'll be, we'll be back to gold. Chuck that chuck or whatever it is, I don't know. Gear mechanism back in. One thing I did notice when I was pulling apart before, you've got to make sure all the cables are, are properly sunk down. Otherwise you don't get um you don't get a really good tight fit with the clamshell later on. Now that's not too bad. We'll see how it goes. That ha that little thing has to line up down there. Obviously, I've still got that sorted, so that's nice. Fitting in there quite good. Again, these things are just so easy. Sometimes it's a little bit like Lego. I mean, if your daughter likes playing with Lego, um, they can probably do this for you. 
which and probably do a better job actually especially i mean i have to admit i i am a couple of tinnies in at the moment it is a friday boys and girls all right One, uh, one nice thing about having the old rotor out is that it's got some magnets on it and I do like to use magnets to just um, magnetise my bits. Bits again, again it, it really helps out, especially if you're using good, good quality screws. Seven years are still going. I mean, I think, I think, look, they're all the same. Milfaki, Default, Makita, they're all the same, but, I, I, you know, you, you tend to like one more than the other, as we all do, and, you know, I've grown up with these, and I really like that you're able to service them. Let's see how that looks pretty good. She's back together. winner again all it was was the broken rotor and so instead of spending 300 uh, 300 dollars on a new impact driver which i almost did all it took was a chat with the local tool guy uh shout out to uh, dawkins down there in um in uh where is that south lonnie i think anyway good chatting to you all and uh i hope this helps in some way cheers